Thanks for joining us on the news this hour. We'll begin in Lagos, where Minister of Transportation Saidu Akali says federal government is committed to addressing challenges facing the railway services in the country. Zakali expressed concern over the neglect of some train services, saying all hands must be on deck to ensure the situation is reversed. The minister spoke exclusively to TVC News while on inspection of train stations at both Ibutemeta and Dapapa. To evaluate, to make appraisal of the performance of our contractors and of course the Nigeria Railway Corporation, we have just left Apapa port and we have inaugurated the inaugural movement of the wagon out of Apapa to Ibadan. Uh, and very soon we are going to use three lines as it is. We are using only one line inside the port. With that, we are going to evacuate, as it is, 90, 40 footer containers out of Apapa port to Ibadan. It will give us the ability to decongest the port. So by the time we are able to lay the remaining two lines, we will have like 90 times three, which means 207 containers out of Apapa port every day. And a fully loaded truck earlier today swerved and tumbled over the Otedola Bridge after managing to avoid two collided cars. This incident has resulted in the loss of one person and three others seriously wounded. Permanent Secretary of the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, Ulufemi Okeo Soyintolu, while speaking with TVC News, said the incident could have been avoided if the motorists took preventive measures. Rescue operations are still ongoing to ensure free vehicular movement. The one that we lost was uh, sitting on top of the weeds at the back. So when the, um, the trailer overturned, all the weeds fell on him. So the impacts of those weeds crushed him to death. Our response was swift, prompt, effective and efficient you can and you can see that we are now using our goliath we are now using our charlie we are now using our super elephant to make sure that um, we free the road and firefighters at lagos state have been tasked on the need to project the image of the agency efficiently and professionally while carrying out their duties permanent secretary ministry of special duties and intergovernmental relations jason ogundeko said they set a two-day training for watch officers of the Lagos State Fire and Rescue Service. Director of the State Fire and Rescue Service, Adesha Yabimbola, in a welcome address at the training, emphasized the importance of technology in the service while highlighting the series of operational challenges experienced globally. The training, which was facilitated by seasoned administrators, is aimed at meeting up with 21st century method of combating fire and related emergencies. With the team, fire fighting... State Assembly has now confirmed one more commissioner nominee, Tolani Sule Akibo. The decision by the House is coming one week after his confirmation was stepped down owing to the lawmaker's inability to reach a consensus. Tolani Akibo's confirmation makes it 38 nominees now confirmed by the lawmaker so far. To court matters now, the National Assembly Election Petitions Tribunal sitting in Umahia has upheld the victory of Audio Zokalu representing Abia North Senatorial District in the February 25th polls. A three man panel led by Justice Samson Paul Gang in its ruling dismissed the petition of the People's Democratic Party's Amao Mwambua and Liberal Party's Anamdi Uroji for lacking merit. According to the court, the election of Senator Kalu compiled complied rather with the provisions of the Electoral Act. The tribunal faults the arguments of both petitioners that election that the election didn't hold uh, in over 120 polling units, mainly in Ohafia and Arochuku local government areas of the zone. Senator Kalu, a two-time lawmaker who currently presides as Chairman Senate Committee on Privatization and Commercialization, was declared winner of the February 25th senatorial polls by INEC having hold 30,805 votes to defeat Namdu Roji, who had 27,540 votes.
call members posted to Ebony State have been tasked to uphold values that promote peace and unity and avoid actions that can undermine harmony in the country. Coordinator of National Youth Service Corps in Ebony State, Olayinka Nasamu, told the call members to be peace ambassadors as they move to their places of primary assignments after conclusion of three-week training at the permanent orientation camp in Afripo. Mrs. Nasamo said the rigorous training and character building the core members were exposed to at the orientation camp will mold them into responsible and well-rounded citizens. They've been my children for the past three weeks and um, they've gone through so many activities, drills, paramilitary drills, skills acquisition, entrepreneurship development programs, just to make them uh, good citizens of Nigeria to interact and integrate, to know that Nigeria is a big nation and we are all one. So it's that oneness that brought us together so that they can be ready to face the world at large. We've had a lot of programs, the Sahid program, the Man of War drills. People don't really look at it, but there is something about the Man of War drills that actually train the mind. Then the Sahid program, like we already know, the skill acquisition, it helps you to be a better person because in this country, white collar jobs are not waiting for anybody. I've learned a lot. We've done parades, we've done several lectures, we've done skill acquisition programs which have enhanced us to educate ourselves, to help ourselves, and to enhance many things like to get our uh, several handworks. Wife of Egiti State Governor Olayemi Oyebanji has distributed school equipment to over 350 indigent pupils under the Widows and Orphans Hope Back to School program. And Mrs. Oyebanji said the initiative aimed at supporting uh, underprivileged children, widows, orphans, and aged individuals in the society. No fewer than 400 indigent students, or pupils rather, were selected from the 16 local government areas of the state. Education is one of the four major scope of WOW. The other three are economic empowerment, social reform, and health. The WOW project education scope incorporates educational empowerment for vulnerable children. These students have come to one from no one else than our, their first lady. As students resume, we go around schools, we see a lot. We see people who come back to school with no uniforms. We see people who come back to school with little or no food. Some don't have bags, some don't have writing materials. At a point, we had gone back to Mr. Governor to say that the free and compulsory education in the state is too capital intensive. We needed the parents to participate. Uh, the wife of our governor today has decided to carry a huge burden of some parents. Some of the parents will want their children to get this. Some of the children will also want to get their colleagues to have this type of bag. Thank you on behalf of the poor, the poorest of the poor, the drinking our society. I want to appreciate you. And the Nigerians in diaspora have commended President Bola Tinubu on his recent diplomatic efforts aimed at helping the country regain its rightful place on the global, in the global community. This was contained in a statement by the APC USA National Youth Leader Oyakilo Mebelo, who praised the President for his remarkable achievements since he assumed office and his efforts in attracting foreign investment into the country. Mr. Oyakilo described President Tinubu as a man who is committed to changing the narrative of the country urging all Nigerians in diaspora to support the effort of the current administration. He also called on the president to encourage the diaspora community with opportunities for them to serve in his cabinet. <laughs> 